Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team head-to-head -head seasons game. And I know it's been a couple of days, guys, but I wanted to get back to posting some of these head-to-head -head seasons games. So here we are, 1-0 and on the current season, ready to try and make it 2-0 and here. But I'm going to tell you guys, this is one of the craziest games that I have ever seen anyone play on Madden. So first thing that happens here is this guy goes offside the first two plays of the game completely intentionally now i assume that he's probably gonna try and just like demote himself right because if you go off sides three times in a row i think it automatically boots you out of the game so i assume that was actually gonna happen it did not and i end up going deep here on third and two and missing the pass having to go for it actually on fourth down here send bo jackson out to the outside and again guys i'm still like thinking in the back of my head what is this guy even doing like what is his intention with going offside on the first two plays of the game i had no idea but we do pick up the first down there there. Another pass here to Kevin White down to about the 20 yard line. Nice uh oh, retard there. alert. Now it's first and 10 here, and we're going to throw this thing up into coverage. A terrible throw. I didn't wait long enough to throw that comeback route to Kevin White, and Brady ended up throwing it right to the defender. Uh, bad decision combined with a bad throw there, so that it was kind of the worst of both worlds. My opponent's back on offense now, actually, not back on offense, on offense for the first time, and he's starting to drive down the field pretty effectively here. Two plays there, uh, two completed here. passes. But he throws the pick to Demarcus Ware, and he is going to take off here, almost down for a touchdown, but RG3, I believe that was the golden ticket RG3 that he had, uh, and he did tackle him from behind. But it's okay, because two plays later, Kevin White is going to come up with a catch in the end zone to give us our first touchdown of the game. Now, my opponent, again, has RG3, so he is very, very mobile with his quarterback, and he's actually running up the middle pretty effectively here, but... Third and two, he, we did make the stop, brought up a fourth and one, and again, he's going to take off with RG3. Just did not have a contain there. Unfortunately, he was able to pick up an easy first down there. But the next play, we do set a contain and get the sack. I believe that was Bruce Smith with a beautiful sack. Unfortunately, second and 19, an easy completion there. I decided to run man coverage, and it just was not the right decision there. Now, this play here, a very weird pass. I, I saw him do that a few times in the game, so I have to assume that there's some weird glitch associated with it. I don't know, but he did make a nice pass there, and I missed some tackles, and he did get into the end zone to tie it up. Now, second and 10 here, back on offense. Calvin Johnson with the, I don't know if you call it a rocket catch, or I don't know what you want to call it, but an amazing grab there by Calvin. Cannot get any rushing, though, with Bo Jackson. That is the golden ticket Bo Jackson that we are currently borrowing. Third and 13 here, and I am going to throw it short to Bo for just a small pickup. Did end up punting after that, so got it down there to about the five-yard line here. He short, throws a short pass, and he gets picked off. Vontae Davis says, gotcha, bitch. An easy pick six for Vontae Davis. Awesome awesome play there by him and we're feeling very very good about it up seven but he did miss the, the play there unfortunately so uh a nice little completion for him now he's gonna try and go deep here and eric weddle swats it away so i'm feeling very very good about that that's usually a completion against me as you guys know i am not very good at stopping the streaks he's gonna try and throw this one up again and patrick peterson comes up with another pick awesome feeling very very good about that 29 seconds left in the half and we're in range here now where we still have time to potentially put points on the board. This is called the Alshon Jeffrey drive, ladies and gentlemen. First pass there to Alshon. Nice completion. Second pass here. We pass lead it forward to Alshon. Another big completion up to about the 50-yard line here. Now, we've got 15 seconds left. Got to get close enough to kick a field goal here. And we make the completion, getting it down to about the 29-yard line. Awesome completion there. Now... Throwing this thing up to Bo Jackson. I thought I would have a chance there. Unfortunately, he did drop it. And I'm going to try and kick the field goal here. Now, I show this because my opponent called a timeout there. And I was very, very confused at what he was doing until I saw this. Yeah. A blocked field goal right before the end of the half. Blocked field goal. Now, I know that this was a huge huge problem early in Madden. A lot of people were blocking field goals, and I don't know exactly what was going on. Um, obviously, you can get a good jump occasionally and, you know, block a field goal from time to time. I will tell you guys this. I literally have never had a field goal blocked against me in this game until that point in time. And uh, yeah, I was very, very upset about it because obviously I had driven all the way down the field to try and get into field goal range and it did not work. So uh, yeah, very, very upset about that. And it, 
obviously was pay is paying off for him. Uh, the momentum shift was huge here on this drive as he's continuing to pick up offensive yards. Uh, RG3 with a nice run there and Alfred Morris up the middle. I think he basically had almost like, um, I don't know if it's a Washington Redskins theme team or what, but he's just mowing me down with Alfred Morris. My defense just could not stop his running game with RG3 and Alfred Morris. Now he's going to throw this beautiful pass here over the middle. Uh, another completion and he does get into the end zone that time. So a 14 to 14 game should have been 17 to 14. I just want to point that out, but uh, the block field goal is real apparently. Third and 16 here though, and we're going to throw this thing up. A bomb. Kevin White, the rookie, comes up with it. A huge grab in coverage. Steps in front of him though and makes a beautiful snag. And we're going to go back to Alshon Jeffrey over the middle here. Down again into field goal range here. Third in inches. Easy completion here to Bo Jackson out of the backfield. Tried to mow him over, but unfortunately could not get the animation. First and 10 here. And we're going to throw this thing up to Calvin Johnson into the end zone, taking the lead back in this football game. Give a fuck about your feelings. Give a fuck about your feelings. Huge hit on the kick return, and we do recover it for a touchdown. Now, extra point. Watch this cheese. Remember how he blocked a field goal before? Yeah, it's about to happen again. Another blocked kick. Un-effing believable. We should be up right now 31 to 14. But instead it's 27 to 14. Still a good lead with only four minutes left in this game. And we get a huge pick here with Chris Harris. Massive, massive interception. That is just huge for us. We are in range now to score some more points. But really what we're trying to do is run out some clock. Trying to get it down to about that two minute warning. And I'm definitely using all of the clock here. Bring it down to about the two minute warning. End up kicking the field goal here. I thought he was going to get another block there, but I actually did that as quickly as I possibly could. 30 to 14 now, less than two minutes left in this football game. And my opponent is going to throw this thing a beautiful pass there on third and 10. Awesome completion by him. I have to give him credit there. Throwing another risky pass here into traffic, but he does come down with it. Minute 46 left. He has all three of his timeouts, and he is going to throw this thing up into traffic. Ronnie Lott can't swat it away. Oh, goodness, man. Just ridiculous. Amazing pass there, and he does come up with the touchdown on the next play. Two-point conversion now and another easy completion there. So he is down eight. Get ready for the ultra cheese now. I usually expect now that people are going to go for that squib kick onside kick, as I call it. And he is going to come out in the formation to do it. And I'm ready for it, right? I have my defense set up. I'm not going to get beat by the squib kick. But little did I know this cheese existed. Okay. He kicked the ball directly down, hit Luke Keekly in the back of the head, and then his guy recovered it. Oh, my effing G's, dude. Like, I have no words for how bad this game is. This game is so shit. It's unbelievable. Like, I literally can't even stand it. He's blocked two field goals, and he knocked the ball off of my freaking kick return guy and got a touch or on, got a return on it. Now he's going to score another touchdown here. Unbelievable. He's down two still, though. Has to go for two. A minute seven left in this football game, right, guys? He's got to go for two. He absolutely has to, and we are going to be able to stop him here. Awesome. I'm feeling very good about that. Now, the thing that I'm scared about is that same onside kick, so I'm actually going to user control Keekly and immediately pull him out of the way, but he decided not to actually do an onside kick. I don't know why he decided not to do an onside kick. That is completely makes no sense until you see this. Golden ticket, Bo Jackson fumbling with a minute and five seconds left on the clock and he recovers it in range to score. I literally have never seen bigger BS in a game in my entire life. I like, I don't even know what to say anymore about Madden. It's just, it's one complete horseshit thing after another at this point. And uh, here he's going to scramble with RG3 and get into the end zone. Now, I was kind of surprised that he decided to actually score there. He is going to go for two here, and we make the stop, which is actually key because now we can score a touchdown and win the football game, right? Uh, so now we're back on offense. We've got less than a minute left to score here. Down 30 to 34. I'm absolutely raging, of course. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you can probably imagine. I'm just, I'm just completely beyond words. But we're in range here to potentially score here. We've, we're down at the 23-yard line. 38 seconds left. Plenty of time left on the clock. We've got one timeout left. 
But unfortunately, I make just a horrible throw here. I tried to throw that thing up, and for some reason, Brady just gunned it right into coverage. That is pretty much the end of the game. Complete BS cost me this one. I have no words. I'm just, I can't stand this game anymore. It just pisses me off so much. I hope this stuff never happens to you guys, but I'll talk to you again soon.